day to be here, but I'm just trying to see where I can come in the morning first thing. So for anyone who's looking to come and see this place, it's called Dead Horse Point, and it's such a state park, so you have to pay a separate fee to get in here. 20 bucks for a day! Bit of a, bit of a steep payment, but I actually think it's worth it, even if you just come for the one look. It's, it's that, it's that incredible. And I've been coming to Moab for 10 years, and like five visits exploring the parks. I've never come to the state park here, and uh, I, I can't believe I haven't. It's, it's well worth it. There is no way I'm ever going to be able to do this justice, but just check this out. Down here, this is like a thousand, two thousand foot drop straight off this ledge down to the valley below. And that's, that's the river. How epic is this? Right, last minute change plan. Just been hiking over at that point looking for the morning, but clouds, freaking clouds. There's a chance of rain on this side. So I've just ran back to where we were earlier. I'm just gonna sit on a rock and see what happens. Drama! The most popular point, pretty much, in Canyonlands to see this is 200 meters over this little ridge where the main car park is. All I've done is literally hiked up a hill, over the hill, and... And I'll keep saying it, but the best way to have the best experience and the best photos, go where other people aren't. And in most national parks, that just entails walking for five minutes. All I've been doing today is scouting around, looking for sunsets and sunrises. Midday sun is the worst, but... Suddenly these clouds came out and a bit of drama, a bit of rain, a bit of cool light rays coming through. It's not a waste of day. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes because this is getting a bit wild. And then I'm gonna make a run for it. Okay, so it's early morning and like every morning I want coffee. And if you've on a trip and you're planning a trip and you think oh, there's probably not going to be that many coffee opportunities around then this is how you get around it so check it out down here i have got my coffee making station so this is pretty cheap twenty dollars a little pan and a fairly cheap backpacking um, gas burner that folds away and a bit of gas that i bought from an rei that's the handle for the pan, for when you need to lift the lid off. And over here, I've got coffee filters, my thermos, and then a camping coffee funnel. Zip my bag of coffee, put in your funnel, add your coffee. Then you just pour your water in. Make sure you're giving it a nice little stir. That's it. And voila. Oh, every time. More exploring, let's get on with it. Yesterday's day of exploration, I've come back to Dead Horse Point for the sunrise. It really looks amazing. Let's have a look around. Well, it's cold, but uh, just making my way through this kind of like quite interesting landscape. I'll try and hike over here and see these canyons, because we've got a good 20 minutes till the sun comes up yet, over that way, and lights all that stuff up. So I'm gonna make my way down here and see if I can uh, just get a glimpse of the canyon with a bit of this kind of orange glow on it. You gotta come prepared. Thermos of coffee, layers, spare hat. You look like a wally, but 
God is needed. The winds are really high up here too. Another good tip is if you can find a little crevice or a rock or something to get behind, it is always a good idea. Um, I'll be able to see behind me. And it's really starting to light up down there. The next 10 minutes are, are the key minutes. So, if, you, if you're trying to get a good sunrise, you've got to make sure you're deep planning. I mean, I came here yesterday, but if you can just get here a bit early, find your spot, find a good angle, find a place to sit and wait out, and then enjoy it.